guys, how are you doing? I hope you're well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Cooking with Barbara Modoni. If you're new here, karibu, karibu sana. Remember to subscribe and to press the notification bell so that you'll be notified once I post a video and also remember to watch my other videos. So last week I showed you how to prepare peanut butter at home and one of you requested me to show you how to prepare bread as well. And as you know, your wish is my command. So today that's what we're going to prepare. So stay tuned. To prepare the bread, you'll need two and a half cups self-raising flour, three tablespoons of cooking oil, half a teaspoon of salt, half a cup of warm milk, half a cup of warm water, one tablespoon of sugar, and one and an eighth teaspoon of instant dry yeast. So let's get started. In a large bowl, Add your self-raising flour, then half a teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of sugar, And then our one and an eighth teaspoon of instant dry yeast. Every time you're baking anything, you start with mixing all the dry ingredients first. This is a quarter teaspoon, so I'm going to add half of it to get the an eighth that we want. Yeah, so all our ingredients are in the bowl. So the next thing is to mix them together once they're all mixed we start with adding our warm milk guys always remember when you're working with yeast you use all the ingredients when they are at room temperature Making bread at home is very easy and you need very few ingredients. Then we're going to start adding our water gradually. Once everything is well mixed, we're going to transfer this to our clean surface. And then at this point is where we are going to use our oil. So we start with one tablespoon of oil. We're going to knead the dough for 10 minutes. So you're going to knead for 3 minutes. You add 1 tablespoon of oil. Another 3 minutes. Another tablespoon. And then another 3 minutes. Another tablespoon. So guys, it's 10 minutes past. And our dough is ready. So the next step is to proof the dough, that is, to let the dough rise. So I'm just going to form the dough into a ball and set it aside. And then on the ball that we were using to knead, just add some oil. And 
then place the dough inside and we oil the dough on top. If you have been watching my, my videos, you already know the reason of applying oil to the dough, that is to ensure that the dough does not. Then the next thing is you're going to cover the dough with a clean, clean film. You can use a clean kitchen towel or even a plate. And then we're going to place this dough in a warm place or a dark place so that it can rise and double in size for one hour it's one hour past and as you can see our dough has doubled in size so just going to remove the paper the clean film and then remove the air from the dough and then transfer it to a surface and knead for two minutes After the two minutes of kneading, the next thing you do is you oil the surface. And then you oil the rolling pin. Then you roll out the dough. After rolling out the dough, the next step is you start folding the dough. And to fold the dough, you just do this and you press the ends. Ensure you close all the corners, then you start shaping your dough according to the size of your baking tin. Make sure there is no hole in the dough.
once you have the desired shape and size of your dough the next thing is you're going to line our baking tin and to line i'm just going to use a serviette i dip it in some oil and then i ensure that the bowl is well lined with oil and then the next thing is you dust the tea with some flour this process is to make sure the bread does not stick to the tin then remove the excess flour and then the next thing is you pick your dough and you place it in the baking tin then you shape it according to the shape of the baking tin Once that is done, you take a clean film or a clean kitchen towel and you cover and you're going to let this rise for another 30 minutes. We are going to preheat our oven at 180 degrees with the heat coming from below and above for 10 minutes. It's 30 minutes past and our dough has risen so the next thing is we are just going to oil the top of it before we take it to the oven. Yeah. We are going to bake the bread in our preheat oven for 30 minutes at 180 degrees. It's 30 minutes past and our bread should be ready. Yeah, from the look, it looks ready. So the next thing is you're going to place it on a cooling rack. It looks so nice, guys. So I'm just going to turn it over and we let it cool for like 10 minutes and then we'll check how it looks on the inside. Our bread is cool so we are going to transfer it into a chopping board and you're going to slice. Our bread looks so nice, so I'm just going to spread some margarine and we we'll see how it goes. The bread looks so nice and it is very easy to spread on it. So the next thing is we are going to test the bread. Hmm. 
the bread is so nice it's so soft and so fluffy i hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have be sure to give it a thumbs till next time bye